post it tomorrow. Okay, this time, I think we're on. That's more like it. Let's go back. <laughs> Do you want to try that all the way from the beginning? <laughs> you missed the bit. I was outside on the, on the balcony looking at the chateau. <laughs> we looked at the road. The car went by. The motor, we talked motorbikes. But now we're doing straight <laughs> to the painting before it all leans over. Am I all right? Am I still on? <laughs> Live. Who, what, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay. This is it. I basically, I've traced all this through. Got a nice line drawing. Monica said it should be much looser, but in a way I quite like it because it's quite a complicated little subject and you can be loose with your paintings. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with some sky. Let's start with a bit of cerulean blue mixed with some pathalo blue or for those who are that's basic, just light blue and dark blue. I'm going to just get that on there. So that's... This is the mixture of cerulean and pathalo blue. Well, which is a lovely kind of Mediterranean sky colour. Now, do you, yesterday, do you not have any vermilion? No, any vermilion. Uh, there is a bit that'll come later. Because um, this this area is actually known as the Vermilion Coast. Yeah. So it sort of seems. Okay, well, maybe I'll, I'll <laughs> add more vermilion than I had planned. Um, yesterday, I painted the sky and it all ran down the page. The whole thing nearly went out the window. Um, so. I'll just try this. What I'm going to do, rather than go to the edge of the picture, I'm going to actually just like paint it just sort of across here like that. Um, let's just do that. There you are. Oh, nearly went down the edge. I thought we could have it a bit, bit looser. There we are. That kind of thing. I'm going to add a little bit of water to there. I'm going to try and go around the buildings. So we didn't have to, just a bit more water there. Let's just come down that side. Add this on. There we go. Just adding a little bit. Of, don't add water onto the painting. I'm just adding water into the mix. Here we are. So it just kind of fades down nicely. So you're not just that. Isn't just straight water. You've actually just watering the paint in your palette down, Simon. I'm watering the paint in the palette. Yeah, I'm not so. Right. Um, and now, before it all runs away, I'm just rinsing the brush out. A little bit of sweep across there like that. That'd be quite nice. There we are. Just try and keep it off the building. So I want, I want the buildings to kind of shine out away from the sky. So, customary clouds, a little bit of a uh, clean brush and a, while well, it's still wet, just to sort of sweep across there like that. A bit of green in the brush, that's nice. Just do that. Oh, look at that. Can you believe it? Did you not clean your brushes after <laughs> the last time you used them? Well, just perhaps just wipe a brush in. Like that, that's it. Uh, let's throw that brush in the bin and just add a little bit more blue in there. There we are. We can retouch that a bit later. There will be some retouching, I'm sure. Okay, that's good. Now, while that's um, doing its own thing, this is not how to do a sky but I will come back and retouch. The best thing to do is walk away if it's going a little bit wrong and just to come back to it later. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of sea color, sea color, so I've got, um, I'm gonna have that similar kind of blue, but with a bit more of this pathalo blue in it. Where's my picture? There. And I'm just gonna put that in very carefully. I've ruled the horizon, even if you don't rule any other lines, don't listen to Monica, just rule the horizon line and then you can, Painted it in friend. A wobbly horizon line looks awful. So the same kind of thing going on here. Just adding some water. I'm very kind of carefully painting this in. If you look, there's the the rocks there, and then I'm just going to kind of sweep that back and forth. Hi, Amanda. Amanda's joined us. Amanda, from, hello there. From Texas. From Texas. We another world one. Last last week we were around the world, and this week too. So. Has everybody got a reasonable view now? Are we sort of on the kind of right horizontal thing? Well, it's too late now. Um, we've got a few people that said landscape view is working now. Landscape view is working, that's what we like. So, okay, I'm putting like a little bit of, we've got some sort of sea colour in here. And then I've left a few little white areas there, you may have noticed, to hint at some waves and so on. This is looking rather bad, but I'll... Waves? I'll that. Waves in the Mediterranean. Waves in the Mediterranean, yes. 
So just sort of let that go. That's all good. And I think while that's drying, I think I can put um, a little bit of beach colour in. I'm going to use um, a fresh brush. See, what I did, if you look at this, um, I kind of retouched some of the boats out. I wanted a scene with a hint of quayside, hint of quayside, some boats, all the cliched stuff. But in the original photograph here, there was too many boats. And I've had people sobbing into their paintings here on a, on a Thursday morning class. And I said, we're going to do boats. Adwa, if you're listening, you know who you are. Um, so what I did, I put a little bit of, uh, uh, what is it, a little bit of pavement in there, a little bit of quayside and the beach. So in the original photograph, where is it? This is the left hand side, this is the original photograph, which is quite a nice scene. You think, oh, well, what's wrong with that? But if you look, there's lots of chairs, there's boards, there's people and plants. I kind of wanted to simplify that a little bit. So I've literally just taken a hint of that quayside and then put some beach in. So we've got a few comments. A few um, comments. Oh. Uh, Cindy, is, uh, Cindy is watching as well. She's just hey, arrived. Hi. And um, Keith says, hi, Simon and Monica. Keith got, on. got you in beautiful horizontal position, Keith here. No, no drambuie. No drum Keeping an eye on you, Simon. Ah, oh, it's just out of the picture. So a few of these are, um, Keith is, is um, somebody who comes here regularly on holiday and comes to our regular sort of Thursday, Friday workshops. Um, Keith is actually a frustrated painter who comes here because whenever he comes here from Scotland, he, for some unknown reason, comes with a lot of commissions off friends and ends up painting Scottish scenes the whole time he's in France and then he goes back grumbling. <laughs> And Cindy and Amanda were here on holiday with us. That's um, right. Yeah, that was a great Last year time. and the year before. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually putting a little bit of yellow ochre on the beach. Just washing that in. I'm going to put a little bit of... Is that pure yellow ochre or have you added a bit of colour uh, to it? It's pretty well straight out the tube yellow ochre. And I'm kind of... Is that cheating again? Uh, never. <laughs> no, it's sort of sand colour, isn't it? Sandy. But I'm going to use... Oops. I'm going to use a little bit of... Um, a touch of Payne's grey in there as well, down in the foreground. I'm not doing the shadows yet, I'm just, I'm always using the side of the brush, but you can see it's quite, almost dry, it's just dragging it across the paper, giving that a little bit of texture. What do you think? That looks quite nice, doesn't it? There we go. So that's kind of a taking shape. Um, what, any witty stories this week? <coughs> what do you think? So Nikki has asked again what colours were you using and you said it was, what are you using on the beach? The beach, I've just literally straight out of the tube yellow ochre um, and I've added a little bit of Payne's grey um, to, and then dragging the brush across to give it a little bit of texture down in the foreground. We'll probably go back and add a few more colours in there later on but I like to get a kind of base colour quite lightly to begin with. Um, what I might do now is so a little bit of, um, not much history, but a bit of history about Kulia. Um As Simon said, it's close to the um, just to Spanish, this is yeah? Just Payne's Grey now, so camera. Payne's Grey, okay. Yeah. Is that what you're doing the pavement in? Just the pavement, yeah. I'm just going to get the background colour in. Um, it's a, um, a town that is known for the, at the birth of Fauvism, and the person who's probably best known to most of us who painted from there is um, Henri Matisse. And I think Simon actually, did you find a picture of his that he did of did, this, virtually the same scene, slightly different interpretation, I would say. Oh, that there it is it. on the printer. Here we are. It's a bit rough, actually. So that's Matisse's. I think he needs to work on that a bit. <laughs> slightly different. He's, he's not really got the drawing quite right. But that was a, obviously a classic painting. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Well, it just shows you, you can use any style you want to. Any style you want, exactly. We'll do that style next week. But the building in the um, background is the Notre Dame des Anges, which basically loosely, loosely translates means the Church of Our Lady of the Angels. Okay. And it was turned into a, it's a the, the tower at the end is a bell tower, and it used to be a lighthouse before they it built the abbey so onto it in the 1700s. Right. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, dry that a little bit, speed it up a bit. Hang on. So we've got the 
very basic colours on there now. I can do that as well. Helen Untied is coming from Cape Town. Martin Brown, John and Jan again are watching. Oh, great, what a party. Sick and tired of lockdown, but coping. Sick and tired of lockdown, I think it's going to be on for a bit longer. What, how long? It's, they've, been, they've told us we're going to be here for, what, till the middle of May at least, isn't it? 11th of May is of May. our official... So there's a lot more live videos to come your way, folks. <laughs> Don't go away. That's the joy of a captive audience. Uh, our watching figures are going sky high. Keith has said he thinks Matisse is being on the Drambui. <laughs> <laughs> I think he probably has, yeah. Uh, he probably, he just, he, what he was, he used to spend all day in the cafe on the little drinks and then think, oh, I'm supposed to do a paint today. Just quickly walk for an up of an evening <laughs> on his way back to show his landlady what he's been up to. Well, that's probably how he paid for, paid for his... Um... Yeah, probably, yeah, this is it. Okay, a little bit of a... Uh, you thought you'd get away with it, but no, there's some sap green going in here. Sap green just watery in the distance. A little bit of blue. What have we got? It's that little sort of range of... What's nice, a little comment on the composition. He said, what I liked was the, the sweep now around this kind of main building in the centre. The hint of travel and uh, working fishermen here. And then the view out to the open sea and then distant land. It's a little bit further down the coast, heading towards Spain. How romantic is that? So I'm just going to touch that. I might come back to that in a bit. That's just got a hint of that. Maybe a little bit of damp brush. There we go. Right. Now. Okay, yeah. Like I said, if, if this was a properly edited video, there would be soft music playing in the background. Perhaps some guitar music from a cafe in Coyier. But uh, today, no, it's just me and <laughs> stumbling around in the studio. But now I'm going to find a little bit of Naples yellow, which is a very kind of creamy, pale yellow. Mix that with a little bit of... Um, Where is it? This is that colour here. Is that the Naples? Oh, Naples I thought yellow. that was almost pale. white. Yeah, it's almost it's it's creamy, yeah, isn't very, it? Very creamy, yeah. Uh, but it's a lovely basic colour for everything, really. Um, so I'm literally going to put a wash of, of that... I've got a slightly smaller brush now. I'm going to um, actually. I think I think the first time I did it, I put the shadows on. No, I'm going to do it this way. I've started now, so I'm going to put this colour on here, up over the tower as well. But then, as we um, while that's still wet, I'm just going to mix in a little bit of perhaps a bit of uh, a bit of burnt burnt sienna in there. Let's have some. You see, while it's still damp, you can get this nice kind of flow and this little change of colours here. There's a, there's is this a, all wet on dry? This is wet on dry, uh, becoming, like the shipping forecast, wet on wet. This is now a little bit of wet on wet. Um, basically, I'm not trying to get the shadow in, I'm just trying to have a little bit of change of colour as it comes down. Yeah, a little bit more sort of rustic. Um, soaked with seawater over the centuries. So did you put a bit of a, uh, just a water wash onto that area that you're painting before you started painting it? Uh, no, this is um, just literally paint straight out of the palette. Uh, but as it's coming down, it's wet. And I'm just right. putting a little bit of, oh, putting a little bit of that. If it goes on a bit strong. You can always just with a damp brush, just sort of take that back a little bit. There we go. That's, they'll all be different. I mean, there's... Vanessa's joined us from Doha. And that's from Doha. We've got them from around the world, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Um, I'm just going to put there, a little bit of that. Oh, oh, a bit of that. I've left a little white surf thing going, and we'll come back to that later on. Oh, that's kind of got the building, the old sort of stone building, drafted in. And but I didn't want to have the same colour on the kind of facades because these are quite fresh, aren't they? So I'm, they're quite. Colourful, aren't They're they? Quite colourful, yeah. I mean, just um, I'm just going to focus in on that. You can actually see the colours on the buildings. Like a lot of the French um, yeah, port towns, there, yeah. they often have quite colourful buildings. I've, I'm going to turn it up a little bit and have a little bit of bright yellow on that one. And there, and maybe a little bit of um, I don't know, pink. Let's try a bit of pink. Oh, that's pretty bright. Starts very quiet. I wish we had have some speaker. Everyone should be on a speaker and just be generally chatting in the background. You know what I mean? Well, we can do that if you decide to do it on Zoom. Ah, 
That's true, yeah. I'm just putting a, a little mix of some colours in there, that That's great. Yeah, the nice thing, we, like I said, we up and run a class here on, a, on Thursdays and Fridays through the summer when it's a little bit busier. And there's always um, a little bit of heckling going on. Usually Keith from Scotland is causing trouble. Uh, that's why he was banned for many weeks. Um, but we'd let him back in if he turned up again. Is he, are you coming back this year, Keith? I suppose you're not sure, are we? Who is? I mean, um, we've got holidays booked up. Well, we've got holidays planned, painting holidays planned, which is what we do here through the June months and September. Um, obviously, we're not quite sure how things are looking. We'll keep in touch with everybody who is booked on the holidays um, the, as soon as we know more. Right now, Macron says we're here till middle of May. So who knows? Maybe after that, things might lighten up. We'll see you and we'll keep in touch. In the meantime, back to Collier. Any more, um, what do you think? Uh, I'd say probably some shadows now. This is generally like, that's got the main areas washed on. Um, what I might do, I'll just do a little bit of a watery gray shadow on the, on the boat. We've got a little bit of bluey, sort of pale cerulean blue with um, Payne's gray. I'm just gonna put a hint of Keith has said hopefully in September if allowed. Hopefully in September, there we are, that'll be good. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these, this is like a little, just a, not the actual color of the boat, but I'm just putting a little, just to kind of give it a shape of a boat. Do you see what I mean? I am making it up as I go along, but. Um, Isn't also, that what painting is all is about? That's what we do, all right. Rosie Stranger said she's looking forward to the classes again when the situation oh, is over. I guess indeed, yes. So in the meantime, we'll have to just put up with me doing this every week. Um, in fact, we've decided to do it every week. There we are, thank you. Um, um, we're trying to do it something every Wednesday. We're, we're saying one week we'll do it early in the morning to catch our Australian guests. And like today, one week will be late in the afternoon to appeal more to the American guests. So how generous is that? How good is that? Um, okay, back to the painting. I think it's time for some shadows. What we can do... It's a lot simpler than colour-wise, than there's a lot less detail than the painting from the other day. Um, not less detail. <laughs> it's not even halfway through yet, uh, darling. <laughs> my arm's... just the wash. <laughs> my arm's going to fall off. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Well, we can do... <laughs> just, yeah. Can I just put, like, the chair up and then just... <laughs> and walk, yeah, OK. But just leave it and walk away. No, no, this all has to be alive and stuff and, and held. So I'm mixing up a kind of ultramarine blue with a bit of Payne's grey. And what I'm going to do is, is courageously um, add some drama in the shadows. So I always like just test it out a little bit. And what we've got here is these lovely shadows right in here. Now, if this is all still wet, it's going to run down the page. But oh, I think we're okay. Um, in fact, there's a better one. Ah, yes. <laughs> so this is the good thing. When you've, when you've got a number of reference photographs you've found, you can pick and choose. What I quite like about this one is the shadow comes a little bit further over, uh, even onto the roof. So I quite like the way that hints at the roof there, and then you're going to come across there. This is the shadow of the tower, obviously. A bit of a fine brush, and then straight down that wall. That's quite nice, it goes up there. Amanda Johnson has said thank you for including us. Oh, no, you're welcome, welcome. Good to, uh, good to have you on board, as they say. Oh, this is all gonna run. Let's just... Uh... And there it goes. Yeah, the joy, the challenges of working live. Jane Haywood is watching. Oh, hi, Jane. Great. So they've all got the paintbrushes out, or rollers. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow. And this is to be a, a very tricky, advanced, technique here. I'm just washing this colour on here. If you look, that's oh, just down here. She says, greetings from Sutton Coldfield. Great, great. Rosemary said, would it be possible to give us a list of colours you used or next week before you start? But uh, I thought you had put the I list of colours. Yeah, uh, but I will make more of a, a selection. It's the usual set really, Rosie, the usual half a dozen. Um, but now we've come down there, we've got quite a sharp edge there. And if you look, it sort of softens out, lower down. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water down here. I'm just going to soften that out 
into the water. That's, ah, look at that, so I'm not with that. The key thing here, what's, what's important is, where's the picture? Matt so, Hardy is watching from Matt, Bath. Matt, greetings, greetings. Here we are, so that's, can you see this one? Right? Yeah, do you um, want me to get in there a little bit more? Maybe there we are. So we've got some sort of strong shadows now, sort of building up, and I might just put a little bit on there like that. And there we are, down the end. So that's taking shape. I might come back. Oh, there's another. So now there's like a strong shadow under there. Put that in while I'm at it. And there's some lovely cast shadows across here. It's just like a small brush. I think it's number 10. Round brush. Gets you a nice point. And this just bring, makes it jump off the page, theoretically. Put that in there. Bit of that. And even down the back of here, I think. Not too heavily, because you, you can always go back and make it a bit stronger. Um, close to the boat, close to you, close to the boat. And then they go like under here a bit. It's almost kind of penciling those in, drawing them in. A bit of a shadow there. So yeah, taking shape, all right. So we'll, we will eventually put a little bit more shadow in there and those dark windows, but don't rush, don't rush. At the moment, we're just getting the overall feeling in. I'm looking at the sky and I might have to do that again. I'm thinking Photoshop. I'm in scanning. Oh yeah, while I'm here... I've Don't you some... even say stuff like oh, okay. that. Now, if you look down here, there's these little um, uh, cafes. I if you, want to you can that. take the artist away from the commercial life, but you can ah, never take the commercial life out exactly. of the artist. So we're slowly putting these kind of stronger shadows in here. And there's some little cafe scenes there. People are going, oh God, how do you do that? Really quite simple, what you're going to do. Now I'm just going to put like a big splodge of uh, quite a dark shadow in there. And we're going to go over that with a little bit of bit of white to hint at people in the cafe. Uh, we've got some shadows. I've just suggested there's some people on the beach. There we are. That looks quite nice. And so a bit on there. Hi, Sarah, yeah. from a not a, as sunny a France, I don't think, today. Uh, right, yes. Let me have a little drink of water. Mm. Oh, can I have a sip, please? Sorry. There we go. We should have got to, some supplies in. I did say, Pete, there were going to be oh. some cold beers available as well. Oh, really? Yeah. So where's my beer? Uh, it's in the fridge, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave you, shall I? I'll just, just hop drop, downstairs. Just drop it on the floor. <laughs> you're looking at the ceiling. Millie, huh? do you want to come and <laughs> hold the tripod, please? <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to concentrate now on that area in the background. We've got the... The basic background colour, that kind of stony colour. A hint of some shadows. And now we've got some roofs. I'm going to be finished this in 10 minutes. Um, I'm just going to mix up a little bit of um, that kind of terracotta roof colour, which is um, generally a little bit of burnt sienna. And um, some red in there. Some vermilion, probably. People are saying that it's dipping in and out, the video. Ah, uh, dipping in and out. Ah, uh, I think it does depend on the um, how still my wife is with the camera. No, I think it's due with the upload speed. Uh, these are troubled times. We were we are doing our best with the uh, with the technology stacked against us. Um, hopefully, you can stay with it. Um, so now I'm just putting a the hint of a a roof on there. Surprisingly neat. You see, if you've got a, a neat drawing. You can paint it on quite neatly. Otherwise, I might have just gone a little splash across there. So there's, I use this just literally on all the roofs for now. And then there, where's that one there? There's one here. And what colour is the roof on our, uh, um, our slightly so, phallic um, tower? It's, it's probably a slightly bleached bleached um, terracotta colour. Um, so I might I might put a hint of something on there. We'll see, yeah, I think that's that's kind of got it. That's kind of got the key, key pose in. Uh, go on then, I'll put a little bit of, um, I'll put a little bit of something on there. I mean, in a way, it's actually, the building is darker. So um, I'm gonna go back and do the, uh, that darker as well then. Martin says, come on. 
Um, Cindy said, what, no, is, exactly. what is the roof colour, first of all? Roof colour is a mixture between a little burnt sienna and a little bit of red in there. So I've mixed red and a bit of burnt sienna and made up this kind of um, old terracotta feel. It looks quite strong there. I'm hoping it's going to fade um, for, for added effect. Um, I can't put any more shadow on there because that's still going to be wet. Likewise, the windows. But what we can do is do the boat. So... And um, what I'll do, I'm going to pick, get a little bit of a cerulean blue and I'll hint at this, this boat in the background, just literally like that. So that's just, that's just kind of suggested that there's a boat there behind there. Um, in fact, actually what I did when I did the other painting, I turned the whole thing upside down and so you've got a nice run down the, the boat edge. Cheated again, did you? Cheated again, yes. Um, so now we've got um, a little pathalo blue. So as you come forward, you can use slightly stronger paints. So a sort of paler in the background washes. And then as you come into the details, thicken your paint up a little bit. And then away you go. So let's just, where are we? That's all. Um, I'm just going to put this in across here. Hold your breath and just... So that was a cerulean blue, you said? Uh, this, it was a little bit of cerulean blue on there because I wanted a different blue. Okay. But this blue, I've got the, the pathalo blue again, the but blue. anything like a ultramarine would be good, just to kind of, uh, yeah, it's very kind of intense. And obviously quite a, as it is uh, nearer to you, it's, it's a brighter colour. So let's have a bit up on the ladder. And we've also got the, the kind of hull of the boat as well. I'm going to put that in there. Like so, this is quite nice because the, because it's quite a uh, painstakingly drawn drawing. Um, it, it, all I'm doing really is colouring it in. <laughs> You're just cheating. What? It's just it's one work. big it's cheat. Really, no, this is a work of an art. This is a work of art. Um, but you know, so there we are. That comes in there. I mean, Monica did say it's a little bit illustrative. She felt there was not less, not painterly enough. Um, but when I sell it for millions, I won't give her any of that. Let's see, let's see how funny she thinks that is. Um, so then, okay, I'm just adding a little bit of water to that blue and just finish that end across there. Um, then that's just a very little pale. Pale washing. I mean, actually, this is kind of shadowy, so I'm just going to... Like it's on the <laughs> photograph, it's almost black, isn't it? It is, yeah. I might make that a bit stronger. But like I said, with watercolour, it really is best to err on the lighter side. And, um, you know, if, you, if you're thinking, how dark should this be? You can always go back and put another darker wash on top. It does tend to get a little bit overworked then, but it's better than going, how the hell am I going to get that off? Because... You know, I'll put it on too strongly. But I think, in this case, the boat is the kind of centre of the scene. Um, it should be quite bright. In talking about boats, um, oh, yeah, boats, another thing that this little town is known for is um, anchovy fishing. Anchovy fishing. So it's a really well-known, evidently, the anchovies that were produced in this area were much sought after throughout France. Ah. And it's the kind of... The thing to have with a, a, a chilled glass of rosé or a, a glass of the local red. Sounds good, sounds good. It does, I mean, doesn't it? Are they, are they still doing it? I did see there's a few kind of festivals that they have down there. They may well do a sort of... Um, there is an anchovy festival, I think, yeah. Nostalgic uh, anchovy hunt. But not this year, not this unfortunately. Year, no. But maybe we should go down and go and have a little glass of wine on the... I tell you what, we can, we At go one down. of the restaurants when our lockdown ends. I've got a bottle of rose in the fridge and there's a tin. I think there's a jar of anchovies so we can, we can, have, we can sit in the garden. Up. Well, sit at the swimming pool. Sit at the swimming pool. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I can lie and say they were fresh from Collier this afternoon. Um, okay, so now I've got a little bit of red in there, a little bit of blue. You can see the boat is beginning to um, jump off the page. Um, I'm going to... Let that dry now. Uh, well, I might just put a little bit of there's a little bit of a square there, isn't it? I'll put that as a Payne's grey. Um, just oh no. The thing is, you don't want to. 
as soon as you put colours together when they're wet, it can end in tears because that'll just like run, which would be a disaster. So it's quite nice just to have a strong colour and let it dry and then come back to it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is increase the drama. Yes, it's that time of day. Time to paint. There's, I don't think those shadows are strong enough. So they look a bit more muted, soft English summer shadows where you want Mediterranean drama. So. Our um, our viewers from the UK, un yeah. unlike, well, unfortunately, our viewers from the, um, the US have literally, I think, just woken up. But our viewers from the UK are going towards up here all time. So we've got had some comments about just poured a glass of Provence wow, Rosé. Girl, what a life. It's all right for some, isn't it? That sounds good. Good call, though. Good call. I think we've run out of Provence Rosé, haven't well, yeah. we? <laughs> yeah. Can they email us some? Anyway, I'm just, no, no, so that's looking a bit more dramatic. Um, and then I'm just going to let that sort of bleed a little bit roughly down. This is old rocks and stuff down here. I'm trying to keep that sharp there. So there's a, that lovely little, that's the kind of, oh, that's the nice bit there. And that kind of stronger shadows just in there as well. Where is that? Just in there. And then along here as well. We'll come back over the top of there. And just at the back of there. Your drawing that you did, was it done in pencil? Uh, yes, I did the, like I said, once I was happy with the, uh, the montage that I put together, I printed that out and, um, and then traced it off with a, actually with a, it's getting worse, with a, sort of lip, with a mechanical pencil, just one of these technical pencils, Oh, his eyes are wide open in disbelief. Uh, oh, no, sorry, I just, um, <laughs> no, I did. It was a little technical pencil because they give, with an HB lead, gives a nice clean line. I know there are people who, I'm just, oh, I thought I was running down the page there. Um, if, you know, you can, um, obviously it's nice to work with a soft pencil and do like a leisurely sketch. Uh, that can, that gives a nice feel too. But sometimes I just felt in this case, it was quite a tricky little drawing, so why not do a little uh, slightly more detailed um, with, a, with a sort of technical pencil. It kind of worked out okay. And now I'm just strengthening those up. Watercolor will, will always dry more than you think. Well, you hope it will. Um, so I'm just sort of, that's a nice touch, isn't it? So it's dark at the top and then add a little bit of water into your paint and it just fades out. Because down below you'll be having light reflecting up into the shadow. Um, while we're here, I might just put, um, put some... Uh, You're little, putting just a bit of darkness into the windows. Just a little bit of darkness into the windows while we're here. Doesn't have to be too accurate. So there we go. There we go. <laughs> right, now how are we looking? That's looking good. Hello, hello. I think we just wanted to do some more in the background, just a hint of something in there. This is obviously the distant quayside wall. Um, entrance to the harbour, I think. That's that. Right. Okay. And those. So now we're getting the nice sort of feel. Keith says you're very impressed with you doing a watercolour vertically on the easel. Thank you, Keith. Yes, indeed. This is, uh, it's like being an acrobat without a net. Um, it's, it's not my first choice. It, it's, not, it's interesting to work with an easel because you do tend to take automatically a more artistic pose and you kind of step in and step out and you can stand back and look at the painting. To be honest, nine times out of 10, I would actually sit with the board just slightly sloped, either at a table or at my desk. Um, and then that, it just seems a little bit more controlled because it can, it can run away with you. I'm just gonna put a little bit more, yeah, nice, just a hint of some distant drama in those, in that coastline, down to the cliffs. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? What do you mean, <laughs> we're finished? <laughs> Not yet, Is it, what, are people complaining? Or are people gone home? <laughs> No, we had people from everywhere last week. We had them from, where was it? Australia, Singapore, 
Los Angeles as well, wouldn't it? Los Angeles, Birmingham, not Alabama. Don't be in the middle. South Africa, Doha. South Africa and Doha, yeah. I tell you, this is a worldwide event, ladies and gentlemen. Worldwide event. Okay, so that's got a nice sort of overall feel there. And I think that's, once that's dry, I can put some a little, uh, little windows in. But for now, I think we're taking time to strengthen that up. It's not a beach umbrella in sight. Not a beach, it's not that kind of beach, is it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was said... Oh, hey, yeah. I was going to go there on an August um, bank holiday and I can guarantee it will it be. It probably will be, yes. It probably will be. Um, We've only ever been... I mean, we went last time probably about May, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's a beautiful place to go. In fact, we are thinking of maybe setting up a holiday here because it'd be... There's hundreds of wonderful locations all within walking distance of your um, comfortable um, co accommodation. So uh, we'll be looking into that. But it's a little far t for us to travel from here. It's because about it's about an hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half, so hour and three quarters. Day, but it could be, could be like, yeah, we could meet people at Perpignan or Barcelona. Oh, I don't know. Four. The possibilities are endless. Okay, while that's taking check, what I'm going to do is take a slightly bigger brush. Robert from Pesinas. Bonjour, Robert. Hello, Robert, bonjour. Comment ça va? Okay, this is uh, what I'm going to do. What we've got here, sort of tonally, tonally, yeah. that quayside is very similar to the beach, which kind of looks like, oh, the beach just goes flush into the um, quayside. But really, it'd be nice to hint that it's actually a little bit further down. Yeah, because it was quite a step down, wasn't it? It was quite a step down. So I've mixed a little bit of Payne's grey and uh, beach colour, sorry, yellow ochre, and I've now got... Um, Drying my oh, you got a one of your cycling mates, Rusty. Is. Rusty, greetings. How oh, the devil are you? Good to hear from you. I hope you're both well over there, and uh, hope to see you all be going into the loft and getting out your old watercolors over the coming days. Um, right, what we got? I'm just gonna put, I've just dried the brush off. I've got a, some paints gray and beach color. I'm just gonna try this. Oh, I'm just gonna. Let's just sweep that's probably a bit dry. But I'm just trying to get a little bit of distance uh, definition. There we are. So now look the the beach is a little bit darker than the uh, the quayside, so it just that'll fade away a bit. That's fine, there we go. It's got a beachy feel and that'll lighten up. And um, what next? Actually, shall I show the one I did before? Here's what we did earlier. So how does that compare? Let me have a look. Um, that's better, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this was the one that nearly got thrown in the bin because as you can see, the sky just ran down the page. Oh, you but actually used the same one in the I end? I did use the same one. After though. throwing your I toys threw it out away of the, the cloth. Bin and then I, see, it's stuck back on. But now you can see they're getting the kind of shapes in here. I might just make that a bit darker over there. Even that cloud. But we're not far off, are we? That's quite good. So, I'll come back to that again later on. More water. Have we got any more, any more funny stories from around um, Puzol? It's been quite a, a sort of quiet week, obviously, hasn't it? Today? It's been very no. quiet. We don't go anywhere. Nobody comes here. No one like, comes here. No, we have a I think link, basically the same sort of life as everybody is leading around the world. Yeah. And, Okay, so actually I'm going to put a little bit more, just in that background, I'm going to put a little bit, something a bit darker there. Just a little bit moodier, there we are. That's nice. Good. A bit of that. You're getting a few likes. A few likes, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Now, don't forget, if you've got an art club, and uh, A, if you're looking for a demonstration, I've got a few bookings for next year already, but um, if you have an art club and you'd like me to come along, and um, do a painting, please get in touch with my agent, uh, Monica. Um, otherwise, if you've got a newsletter, sometimes we had some inquiries, some guys who perhaps had a bi-monthly magazine from their club, and said nothing's happening. Can we put your, a link to your video? <laughs> they may regret that. Sorry, they can want to put a link to the video in their newsletter. So I said, great, yeah. So many people can then uh, laugh and throw things at the 
on their phones and screens while we're doing a video every week. So bear that in mind. Um, what else we got now? I think some more in the background there. Simon, I mean, there's purple paint all over the floor. Purple paint, oh, God. Look at that. Look at that. We've run out of paint grey as well. Yeah, it's because it's all on the floor. Yeah. Well, not the paint, paint's grey is. Oh, look at that. I've just put burnt umber in, not paint grey. Put that in there. Okay. So yeah, once again, Monica has um, refused to come around to the front of the camera. Last week she had her hair in curls and was wearing a dressing gown. But now, as I'm sure many of you are, she's got locked down hair. So she said, no way am I coming around to the front of the camera. So you're stuck with me. Luckily I had my hair cut just before lockdown. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Let's have some dark shapes in this moody <laughs> towel. Martin says, Jan says, I mustn't try to smuggle chocolates into your painting sessions, but ah. I've got a few twicks up my sleeve. Oh, <laughs> oh very good. <laughs> no, chocolates are welcome, twicks or otherwise. I'm the only one that's still got chocolates left. Yeah, as usual, as usual. Okay, now I've thickened up that paint's grey and I'm just dabbing in with a brush that's slightly too big. I have some windows and details. Um, I think that could be a little bit stronger though. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to, I'll put the other lines in, on to, once that's dry, let's have a look at so a few more windows. A bit more here. Again, are you just strengthening up some of your shadows? Just strengthening up some of the shadows. Yeah, like I said, they, at first it's like a shock thing. Oh my God, I've put this on much too dark. Um, now I'm gonna, there's a little bit of, there's something going on on the deck here. I'm just sort of putting a few little hints that some details in. We've got some, uh, da -da 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 -da. some little details there. Actually, we're not far off. Wait, we've got much quicker. Oh, should we slow down? Should we take a break? Should I get the kettle on? We've got some cake, I think. There's a little bit of cake. It's been quite good because um, last week we, uh, we had a good fortune of, uh, of a whole pile of oranges off our tree. Uh, we did nothing. They grew, we got them. And we, handed, we couldn't eat them all. We made some marmalade and then we handed the rest out. Some of you may have seen that wonderful box of oranges we had. Anyway, we handed them out to our neighbours and... With no contact, just little parcels left on their doorsteps. But didn't you say from, well, from us? Yeah, with a note. And saying what we would like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. But they've been kind enough to bring little cakes and little, little baskets of chocolate eggs and uh, excellent... And Anything yeah. um, we Fruit got from other people's gardens, um, and we got what else did we get? Um, hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, yes, yeah. that's true from Bo, yeah. Bo Bo, and yes. and one from. Um, I put an order in for twelve more for next year. Actually. Cassia's just joined us. Cassia, ah, hello, hello, great. So, should, what do you want? Should we start again? Should we start again? Yeah. No. <laughs> You'll have to rewind. The video should be up. Uh, yeah, it'll be available. Once it's once we finish the live session. Once we finish the live session. We can actually save it and then it's we'll there listen. and available. And this for time we're gonna to hope watch. to save it higher quality and to put it onto YouTube. Uh, there is one on YouTube which isn't so good. But there are lots of other videos which are well worth watching, most amusing, lifestyle and painting tutorials under painting in France. Just go to YouTube and put in painting in France and you'll see dozens, <laughs> many. Many videos, painstakingly put together, beautifully edited, music, location, you know, much better than this. <laughs> you know, so anyway, where are we? You're starting to sound punch drunk. Yeah, yeah, I'm just drunk. Elizabeth Wöhre is watching. Elizabeth Wöhre, yeah, good tag, good spot, salut. Yeah, this is in Wien. I tell you, this is uh, indeed uh, an, an international event, international event. Don't forget to tell your friends every Wednesday. We'll share. You may even learn something. Right, what I'm going to do now is... So, Amanda okay. says, could you get in a little closer? Get in a little closer, right, yeah, let's see how we're getting on. So well, I'm trying to catch up. Trying to catch up. So that means she's painting live with us. Well that done, Amanda. Is very, that is bonus points if you're painting live, because it's uh, I'm painting live and I'm struggling. So how are you? I don't know how you're getting on. <laughs> Okay, well, we've got the boat, we've got the buildings, that's all looking quite nice, isn't it? What I'm going to do now, there's just a few little details. I've just got a little bit of red, vermilion probably, on my brush. 
on this little stick here, a little guideline, and a little bit of red there. And um, that's a bit of red there. Red's always good to drop into a painting. Um, it just kind of jumps off the page. What I'll do as well, I know, I'm going to put, a, I'm going to have a red, a red uh, awning there. Robert says, you don't improve your French, no? No, maybe next time. The Poche F1 Francais. Uh, next is my love Deutsch. Yeah, we can have. C'est un peu difficile pour les autres parce que ils sont anglais. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, Many thanks, Simon. I thought we were all painting live. <laughs> Nikki, I yeah. think some people are and some people aren't. Yes, yes. Last time we had a number of people who emailed pictures through that they'd done live, but yeah. I think. Some people are just sitting with a little glass of rosé and... Why? And yeah, that sounds good. I'm generally... Gonna, I'm going to do that next week. Can what? somebody else do this next week? Can somebody else do it? Because I want to watch it. I'll do it next Monica's week, okay? All right, okay. We'll do a cooking class next okay. week. Okay, <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. All right, so I'm going to... Cindy says she'll do one next week. Brilliant, brilliant. That sounds Thanks, good. Cindy. Yeah. We can have artists from around the world going live. What do you think? It could just catch on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go for some gouache white. Yes. Once more and yet again, the watercolor police are on their way round because white, it is the devil's work. I tell you, theoretically. Pam, yes, if you've done paintings, anybody who's done paintings, please um, share them with us. We'd love to see what you've done. You. If you'd prefer not to um, put them up on the page, I don't know if you can, but um, you can either email them to us or email private. Them to, and I might put a little, um, little exhibition wall up or something. Yes. If you don't mind, if you prefer them not to be shared, to let us know in your, in your message. But if you're happy for us to share them, then we'll put a post together of all the different um, paintings that people have done. Amanda, oh, wow. um, Amanda's just said, I'm sitting here with my first coffee and her... Sand, who mum, hi Sandy, hey, Sandy, said I will paint later. Paint later, I like it, I like it. Do you ever go paddling in the Mediterranean? Oh yes, that was good, that was good. The last moments of uh, American visits last year, a few years ago. No, no two no, years, years ago. ago. Yeah, we, um, she, she wanted to go paddling in the Mediterranean just to tick that box and so we managed to uh, find a stretch of beach on the way to Montpellier Airport, which was lovely. And they took me for lunch, thank you very much. So now I'm going to do some fine work. So I've gone for my special fine brush. This is... Um, this is one of your travel brushes, isn't it? One of your travel brushes. These are clever. These just... Uh, like that. You have to put a J I D to put it... Dun, 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 So yeah, that just slips on that. And I've got some white mixed up. So what I'm going to do now, um, we've got lots of little figures in the in the cafe. So I'm just going to put like little hints of some shapes. Can yeah. I just see yeah. in on that? Yeah, go. Have you got the flight in? Yeah. Um, I'm going to add some colour in there as well. So as you can see, it sort of looks like there's something going on in the cafe without it being, yeah, you know, you're drawing the people. So that's that's cool. Um, where else? Let's have a few more of the white bits here and there, in there. Oh, let's have some on the um, water. I'm going to put a little, just a hint of some little sparkly water in the in the shadows. Oh, maybe a little bit of surf breaking over the the rocks at the end of there. Look, that's quite nice. Once more, yet again, I'm not doing it with um, masking fluid, preferring the the kind of flexibility of um, just a little bit of white gouache. Um, actually, that clock's white. So I'll put that in there. Uh, there's a little bit of white. Yeah, actually, on, on this post. I'm sure there's a, a marine term for that. So a bit of that. Um, and then it won't take much to. Oh yeah, well, that's it. So there's this little um, little building. Here. I don't know if you look at that. There's a kind of building with these kind of arches underneath supports, which would be a nightmare to try and mask. So I've just mixed a little bit of white with cream, and then all being well, I can just sort of flick, 
flick that in down there. It just sort of hints that that'll be. That kind of gives you the idea, doesn't it? Yes. Um, and let's have some more red. Jane said this is more relaxing to watch than COVID updates. <laughs> there we are, exactly. You can overdo it on the news, can't you? I think we all feel yeah. a bit overdosed sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's a terrible scene, but it's hopefully working out. And our two guys on the beach, are they going to be clothless? Uh, clothless, yes. Perhaps I should um, give them a, I'm going to mix a little... Um, I'll just hint at some... Uh, yeah, this one's sunburnt, you see, unfortunately. <laughs> like that. Maybe then, um, got some red, maybe a bit of blue in there. There's almost no green in your painting. There isn't, is there? A little bit of green up here, look. Yeah. Sap green has played a very small role in this week's well, painting. Especially in comparison to last week, which I think last was, was oh. a kind of a study in sap green, it wasn't was, it? It was, the, uh, it was, do not start mm. this painting without sap green. Um, what I'm going to do, um, just kind of, I said, I often have a little bit of scrap paper on one side just to um, try the colours out. I'm going to put a little bit of, especially down here in the foreground, I'm going to hint at um, a few kind of stones, you know, paving slabs. Amanda Johnson said COVID updates here are surreal. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we've watched... What's Donald done next? That's what we want to know. What has Donald not done and yeah. then tried to blame on everybody else? Oh, dear, dear, dear. I hope you guys are all good and sorted and uh, keeping safe and uh, so on. So, what do you think? Um, I could add some more... Uh, I kind of... Some... Do you really need to? Do I really need to? Well, let's have a look. I'm just going to, uh, what we've got is a nice little bit of, bit of red there. Oh, look at that, I've just smudged that. Bit of red on there. That's a little bit of red in here as well. Always good, just, this is like on the boat. This is quite vague, darling, so not too, too detailed. I'm going to stand back. Oh, what I might do is a little bit of um, line work, but I want to go through, excuse me. Climb over the Don't. Uh, I'm not going away. I'm not going away. I'm just going to. Uh, hey, Millie. Hey, my girl. Say hello to everybody. Millie Moore. <laughs> okay, we're back. She's hoping it's time for there a she walk. Is. So, yeah, what have we got? Let me have a look. Um, sorry, Millie. Okay, couche-la. Couche-la. Couche-toi. Oh, I forgot the. Um, Couche toi. I'm just looking at this Meli one. Couche la. I'm just looking at this one again. Um, yeah, I've probably got the, the drawing a little bit stronger, so I'm going to put a few little, just some hints of uh, the stones in here. There's a bit more shadow there as well. Okay, that's all good. So yeah, once this is dry, I'm taking my now famous, uh, but getting smaller, watercolour crayon. It's a black watercolour crayon. And I'm just going to hint at some... Um, Paving slabs here, nothing too detailed. Keith says, lovely Simon, like it. How about doing Glencoe next week? Glencoe next week? Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. Maybe, maybe. I'll put it on the short list. Um, or it might be Bondi. We'll see where we're going. Yeah. What about doing that chapel, Keith? That one you've done 435 times. We could do that one. With the, with the bluebells in the foreground. I just heard a shot to bring out in Inverness. <laughs> There we are. So that's got like a little bit of texture in there, which also helps delineate the walkway to the beach. I'm going to put a few little, just have little lines in here just to do that. Um, I'm not going to colour those. I'm just going to put a, just got a little bit on there. I'm just going to strengthen some of these up. Ah, it's a little wooden, it's a little roof there. Um, yeah, you've missed a roof. I've missed a roof. <gasps> Disaster. People, people were thinking, what has happened to this man? Um, I'll put a little bit of that in there. That's quite nice. There we go. There might even be... How about a bit more... Um, 
just to finish off a little bit more of this kind of browny, stony colour up here. How's your arm doing? How's your arm, darling? Yeah, <laughs> you just sort of, is it slumping occasionally? <laughs> when you're there. It's yeah. my, my lower back has gone. Oh, your lower back? Oh, well, don't worry, well. Hang on, I'm just going to put a little bit more. Do you know, we were saying this last week, I should have a high chair that I can sit on every now and then. Yeah, like a sort of uh, umpire's chair from Wimbledon. That would probably work. Yeah, can I then sort of go, one. That's right. Love. <laughs> no. You can't, because that's not a proper it's score. Not, it's not a score, is it? No. Love 15. Love 15, yeah. Your balls, please. There they are. Okay, I, do you know what I think? What do you think? Do you think that's, um, what do you think? Does that, that look all right? I think it's done. I think it's done. But what I like, I'm, I'm going to leave the sky because if I started to fiddle with the sky, Monica's just wandering around now with the um, camera equipment. <clears throat> I'm just um, focusing in on yeah, the sky. Yeah, focusing on the picture. What I've, what I've done, uh, students, is I've sort of uh, done the kind of background. I've done the sky badly, but it's got a kind of certain something, a certain je ne sais quoi. And then I've come around adding sort of lighter tones in to begin with. And then as those have dried, that's the key thing, add some shadow, add some texture, and then here in the foreground, what about, oh, what about a little, a little thing there? That could be a, a little black kind of window, a little square, isn't it? This little, that's... I'll just hint like that. I won't actually write on it. That's quite good. Um, well, do you think it should be a little bit stronger there? I'll just put it, I'll risk it, I will risk. You could ruin it. Don't you get scared? Like at the yeah. stage, do you ah. ever? Because what happens if it all well, goes wrong? My middle name is Risk. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try an extra bit of shadow here because it's it is quite a nice. Well, it's Simon scene. Risky Roberts. Simon Risky Roberts. <laughs> yeah, it's me. You know. Okay, look out. And a bit of oh, a bit of extra strong shadow there. It's quite nice. As a, there we are. Oh yeah, see now we've got the blocks of wood. I've forgotten those. A bit of that. Yeah, funnily enough, it does look better. There we are. See, uh, risk. You take a risk and it all pays off. That's today's tip for a watercolours ar around the world. But anyway, I think that's that's probably quite. Do you want to one last glimmer? Perhaps a signature. Do you want a picture of me with it? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to stand there like a muppet again? <laughs> but there we are. Okay, that's today's. Uh, Sorry, I just stepped on a spaniel. Um, Today's painting from uh, Coriol, which is, like I said, C-O-L-L-I-O-U-R-E, if you're looking it up. Further around the coast, down to the Spanish border, which is, of course is still closed. I mean, we could theoretically get here, but not legally at no, the moment. It's... But uh, it's, it's a lovely setting, and I think we'll do that again. We're trying to do uh, a French scene. Sorry, Keith, Glencoe is probably not high on the list. We're trying to do a French scene every week to give you the taste of... Life in France, holidays that you may like to come on, and hopefully that you will come on. Um, in the meantime, was there anything I was going to say? I did write a little list down. YouTube channel videos, blah, lockdown, blah, the down, the right channel, too. Um, no, great. I mean, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any questions, please uh, stick it on the post or uh, email me. And if you've done any paintings, well done indeed, because that wasn't that easy. Sally um, says that they've, she's watching again. She says fab painting and tutorial. I think she, her art class did it. That's it. The uh, other day. Did they, did they get the bill? Oh no. Okay, well, I'll look forward to receiving payment rights or something for that. <laughs> yeah, we could start charging for these. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. They're all gone. Okay, thank you very much indeed, everybody. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Maybe you've painted it as well. I'd love to see... Um, a copy if you've done something now or you're going to do something later on do send it through by email and i might put like a little uh, uh exhibition wall up well why don't we want to be. why don't we say send everything through send by this time through. next week yeah and if you're happy for us to put them all into a post to show yeah everybody's individual efforts yeah. it'd be lovely to do so and also if, if helen's listening it's her birthday helen Clam, happy birthday helen so as for next week we will be doing birthday requests as well for anybody who wants any birthday requests <laughs> read out over the broadcast okay all right hope you've enjoyed it i'm going to go for a lie down now or maybe a little glass of rosé and a tin of anchovies okay bye for now cheers everybody bye